Hello, my name is Brian Iskra. I'm with the Tarswood Company, a TF Warren Company, I'm the operations manager for the USA. And today I'm going to be presenting the 2020 Steel Tank of the Year Award for API 650 Atmospheric Wall Storage. So the, the project that we were working on was the South Texas Gateway Terminal in Ingleside, Texas. And the scope of work was 20 tanks that were 209 foot diameter by 70 feet tall. They were approximately 430,000 barrels each. They were crude tanks and in the, in the background of this slide you can see a shot that was taken or an aerial view that was taken in about the 1960s of the, the project site that, that's now the project site. Our scope of work was the engineering procurement, fabrication and construction of the stone columns, the deep foundations, the ring wall and the low transfer pad, the tank erection with steel internal floating roof, the aluminum geodesic dome roofs, the internal liner and the external coating. These are kind of some time-lapse photos. This was when we first started on the tanks, the actual erection of the steel tank. You can see in the in the bottom, uh, there's two bottoms that have been laid, and one first one uh, the tanks has the first shell course being erected. And in the distance, you can see the foundation companies. Uh, you can see the 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 rigs that were installing the stone columns, and then behind that, you can see the ring walls going in. This was July 2019, as depicted. So December of 2019, about six months later, we've progressed uh, to the point where we're now constructing about 10 tanks. And you can see in the in the foreground or in the, the, the near side, we're starting on the bottoms in the first two shell courses of two tanks. And, and behind that, we're running four shells up, including the wing girders. And then behind that, we've already uh, erected the dome roofs and then what you can't see underneath those geodesic dome roofs is the steel internal floating roof being installed. May 2020, so about five months, six months from the previous photo. As you can see, we're progressing uh, kind of in an assembly line. We have external coatings going in on the first two tanks in the background. And you can see uh, Right here, the nearest tank, you can see the aluminum geodesic dome on the bottom of the tank on the floor. It has been erected, and you, if you look close, you can see the uh, the, the, uh, the hoist that we've installed to hoist this, this roof up. And July 2020, quite a bit more progress. Uh, we are starting on two of the last four tanks and then two of the, the, the other two tanks, you can see the foundations are being constructed. Same process that I've described on the other tanks or on the other slides. And what really to me is an amazing feat is the amount of work that we were able to perform in 12 months in, a, in, a, in, a, in one year. You know, the, the amount of barrels that were built on this one site in one year is really astonishing. You know, these these are huge tanks. These are, you know, it's it's hard to put it into scale, but you can see down there the cars, the size of the cars, and you know, you can't even see people. They're too small to see people, but the, the sheer amount of work that went into this, and, and not just even on the tank side, but the, the entire project in one year is is really amazing. Something we're very proud of. The peak manpower for Tarsco, this is just for the tanks. This would include the erection of the tanks and then also the erection of the aluminum geodesic domes is about 150 people and total man hours was approximately 375,000. Here's another shot from the opposite side. This was the first berthing of the ship for, for off take or for loading. So some of these tanks were in service by the time we were still finishing up the, the last ones. And here's a nice photo of the completed project. All tanks in service, all tanks painted, and all construction finished. So by the numbers, to put into perspective the, the amounts or the volumes of material that was used on this project, 
So the foundations, there was 240,000 tons of stone. That's approximately 12,000 haul truck loads. So 12,000 trucks running in and out with stone. 2,000 yards of concrete, that's enough concrete to cover a football field with one foot of concrete. And that would, the, the concrete would have been for the concrete ring walls. 60,000 tons of sand. So uh, for all the parents out there, the little green turtle sandboxes that you can buy, that's about 80,000 of those filled up with sand. 300 tons of steel reinforcing, that's about 688 miles of quarter inch rebar. Just to give you an idea, that's the approximate distance from Orlando to Nashville, Tennessee. And the tanks, we used approximately 25,000 tons of steel. And again, to give you an idea of the weight, that's approximately three and a half times the weight of the steel used to construct the Eiffel Tower. There was approximately 20,000 gallons of paint applied. That's the approximate volume of a full-size in-ground home pool. And 828 tons of aluminum. That's the equivalent to four Boeing 747-400s. To give you some perspective on that, that's about 10 seats across by 61 rows. Uh, planes are largely built out of aluminum. So 828 tons of aluminum on those geodesic domes, four of those planes. So again, I want to thank you. I want to thank STI, SPFA, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the presentation.